Hi everyone, this is for Natori Ryu students. Right guys, something um, just came to mind the other day and something I've not really seen done in Natori Ryu is the um, creation of Japanese style scrolls. Now, um, I haven't brought any examples to show you today because I just thought I'd put this video up because I think you, you know what I mean. But basically, in the past, I have created new scrolls. So uh, I don't mean I've put new information in them. I've got a new paper. I've had Japanese people handwrite them out. I've backed them. I've put the spool in at one end. You need a hard wooden sort of rod at one end and you need a wooden, uh, uh, what's the word? A, a hard rod at this end within the, the nice paper and you need the tie off cord for it. Basically all this information is easy to find. Or I have even made um, Japanese bound books where you just get 20 pieces of paper, 30 pieces of paper, and then two end papers, and you bind them with thread and, well, quite hard thread and a needle. And um, I've done both both options multiple times. Uh, usually from traditional scrolls, I've had handwritten out and then done, or I've taken other ninja scrolls like the Bansen Shukai, and I've made entire scrolls of the tools. Where I've drawn the tools out myself. I've drawn them three-dimensionally and uh, put it that way. However, all this was in Japanese. But it made me think the other day, why don't you guys think about starting to put together your own scrolls based on Natori Ryu and Natori Ryu sort of ideas and drawings. Now, that doesn't mean you have to copy the drawings from other scrolls. The point is, is I spoke uh, on another video very recently. I put it up, but I put it on my other channel about clusters of information where if you're going to be crossing a river, you need the river crossing information. If you're going to be getting together in a formation, you need the formation setting information so the idea is why don't you get some scrolls to either do it in a densho which is the book form or you can do it in makimono which is the scroll form and you guys can actually write it out it obviously it's in english so write it in columns if you're in a scroll you'd have to write column picture column picture but you can break it up with illustrations so basically i'm saying to you guys let's see some illustrated scrolls being made with wonderful backing material or colourful or nice uh, ends for a den show style. You can get it, all the information you need online. Just search YouTube for Japanese book binding. It's there. How to make a Japanese scroll. You'll find all that type of stuff on YouTube or on the web. It's easy enough to find. And of course, go to Natoru Hub for a discussion on it. But basically, you can, so for example, you could just have river crossing and then do all the river crossing elements. Or you could have a Haker Jordan scroll and do all the elements out of Haker Jordan. So, for example, if or so what I'm saying is you can either make it from the scroll titles or just make new clusters. Probably, I would say, make new clusters of information. This allows you to, as I was talking about on the other video, which, sorry if this is in the future, but basically I've put two videos up, as I said, and one's called How to Study Samurai Way. So go and have a look. It's on the Anthony Cummins channel. But basically what you need to do is form clusters in your mind so what you should do is a make a scroll on water crossing b make a scroll on martial arts like swordsmanship or parts of armor or so anything you like but basically have your own collection of scrolls there's nothing stopping you making your own scrolls from Natorius information with the images and then and, and doing them obviously doing them beautifully and then make them into prestigious things to be passed on to either your students in the future or to be kept in your school or just for prosperity. So, of course, um, you should be using the Natoru uh, notebook, which is where you're going to take all your notes. So you can use your notebook, which they're available on Amazon. As you guys know, you should be going through them one per year to show the amount of work you've been doing. And what you can do is at the end of a certain section, or you could say study water crossing, as we say, let's use that as an example. Let's continue with that example. And you could do all your water crossing skills and then draw out the pictures, photograph them, put them on the hub and be like, is that right? Is that wrong? Should we do this? And like, you know, just get them checked between yourselves and then um, basically create some nice scrolls. And then start, they can be short scrolls, long scrolls. They can be densho, a thick densho. They can be a multi-volume densho. Basically, you are, you've got to remember, you are the next generation of Natoriu. There used to be Natoriu in old Wakayama who were doing similar things. Of course, to them, they could just hand copy Heika Jodan. They were Japanese. They were ancient. They were read, they read in Japanese. So to them, they just copied the Japanese. Of course, we're not, we're not Japanese, but we've still got the teachings. But so what you need to do now is just transfer it. Keep the origin, the traditional Japanese feel of 
the uh, the scroll. That's why we've got the notebooks. That's a very Western thing. You just open it, write in your notebook in a very Western way. This way, we can at least keep the tradition, but you can start making your own scrolls based on Natoru, based on, uh, remember when, Art, sorry, Art of War will be coming out this year, uh, the ultimate Art of War. You can take sections from that, anything you like. You, If you were really into it, you could end up with a hundred scrolls of your own personal branch of Natoru Ryu, and you know in a lovely box and you can get them out and be like well this is this technique that's that technique and that's the way you learn to put them into clusters and to organize them into skill sets as opposed to individual skills you need skill sets so uh, make sure basically you have a go at that of course if you don't want to don't worry about it you can just study as you feel but if you're a little bit creative why don't you take some time to write out very nicely some uh, scrolls uh, with lovely images, coloured, full colour, painted, whatever you want. If you're good at drawing, if you're good at computers, print them on and put them on, whatever you want. As long as you end up with a nice product at the end of the day that you can be happy with and say, wow, that is actually part of Natoru. That's the next stage in Natoru. By next stage, I don't mean you make things up. I mean, we take the ancient teachings and we remake the scrolls. Remember, if you're going to make, everybody loves, remember, everybody loves ancient scrolls i i love it you find them you buy them you've got them that you love them because they've been passed on for hundreds of years but the only reason they exist is because somebody sat down and wrote them out so until you guys start sitting down and writing them out there isn't going to be antiques for the future there aren't going to be generational scrolls for the future and the longer you don't do it the longer they don't exist as i say i've probably got about 20 scrolls that are new newly made now i'm doing it for a purpose i am doing it for all ninjutsu and to make sure we collect it and keep it going to create a big you know eventually one day to give to a museum um but your job is to create ones to be passed down within natura ryu and used at seminars things like that so i hope you enjoyed that guys make sure let me see uh on the hub what you have been up to and any how to make scrolls, post some things, videos of how to make denture, how to make scrolls and just give it a go. What's the worst that can happen? You waste some money on some paper. You know, it doesn't work. Never mind. But the best is that you could create a, a future masterpiece.